In today's video, we'll take a more in-depth look at sharing your project. All the work you put into building and editing your video goes unrecognized if no one sees it. Your audience may be your family or close friends, or it could be millions of people watching online. Final Cut Pro has shared presets for most situations. Welcome back to my Final Cut Pro tutorial series. This is part 16. In the previous 15 parts, I built a video project and covered all the steps from importing media to editing and polishing your video and finishing the sound mix. If you haven't seen them yet, go check them out. If you find these videos helpful, hit the like button and let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. First thing I'm going to do today is export my project as a master file. This is a high quality media file of the finished project used for backups or archiving your video. Currently, H.264 is the preferred file type for web sharing, but you never know what the future may hold. With a high quality master file, you'll have a video that can easily be transcoded to any future format with minimal quality loss. With my Bike Adventures project open, I'll make sure no clip is selected by pressing Command Shift A. In the toolbar, I'll click the Share button and select Master File. In the Info window, I'll enter as much information as I can about my project. In the Settings side of my Share window, I'll select the Format, Video and Audio, and the Video Codec. Final Cut Pro defaults to Apple ProRes 422 format. Because it's a default render format and produces a higher quality file than most HD codecs, I recommend using it for your master file. If you use a professional camera for acquiring your videos and need a less compressed video codec, you can select Apple ProRes 422HQ, ProRes 4444, or one of the uncompressed formats. Keep in mind, these higher quality codecs produce a much larger master file. Apple ProRes 422 will be more than sufficient for most people. From the Open With drop down menu, select Do Nothing. If you are sending your video off to a professional audio engineer, select Multi Track QuickTime Movie from the Rolls As pop up menu. This will export your audio file in sub mixes that may be set up for easy enabling or disabling using Rolls. But if your video is at that level, you're probably not watching my tutorials. I'll select Next, choose a name and a destination for my file, and select Save. When your share is complete, you'll have a large, very high quality file you can archive or transcode in the future. Now that you have your copy of the video, time to share it with others. In part 6 of the series, I showed you how to share a video privately to YouTube. But like many others, I have multiple places I'd like to share my video for maximum exposure. Final Cut Pro has a bundling function available as a preset destination to save time. From the Share menu, select Add Destination and a Preference window opens up. Select the Bundle folder and drag it to the left. Reselect Add Destination and drag and drop desired presets into your Bundles folder. A pop-up menu will open up for each preset, prompting you to enter your credentials. You may do this now or you can do it later by clicking the Sign In button. For my project, I'll select YouTube, Vimeo and Facebook. I'll also rename my bundle folder by clicking on the name and entering social media. I'll close the share preference window. This time, when I hit the share button, social media folder shows up as one of my presets. When I select it, the share window opens up as it did previously with one exception. The name of my first destination is displayed in the bottom left corner along with navigation buttons. You can cycle through all your shared destinations and modify the info and share settings for each one. Bundle sharing is another Final Cut Pro feature designed to save you time when creating a video. Now your video is out there for the masses or a selected few to see. What I like to do next is archive my project to an external hard drive. This is useful if you decide to revisit your project in the future and modify it, but you don't want it eating up hard drive space on your computer. This method may also be used to move projects between computers. With my external hard drive connected, from the menu bar select File, New, and Library. I'll name mine Bike Trip Archive and choose my external drive as the destination. I'll command click all my events, then choose File, Copy Events to Library, and Bike Trip Archives. All my events and projects within them are copied to my new library. When you imported media, if you select a Copy Files to Library, all your files will be copied to your external hard drive. But if you chose to leave files in place, only shortcuts pointing to your files will be copied and will cause the red missing media thumbnails unless your source files are on the same hard drive. Because I want all my files packaged up in one location so I don't delete any necessary files, I'll perform one more step. 
With my archive library selected, choose File and Consolidate Library Files. Same dialog window opens up as before, but look at the last sentence. Media stored in external folders will be copied. I'll select OK, and when the background task indicator reaches 100%, all my events, clips, and projects are now located on my external hard drive, ready to be disconnected. I'll right-click on the library and choose Close Library Bike Trip Archive, and eject my external hard drive before disconnecting it. With my library on the external hard drive, I can now safely delete all the events stored in my bike trip library. Command click all but one event, right click and choose move event to trash. You must leave at least one event in a library. Remember to close and reopen Final Cut Pro to empty the internal trash. You can also completely delete a library by locating the Final Cut Pro library file in the finder and dragging it into the trash bin. The project I built in this series is now complete. This followed a general editing workflow. Import, edit, and share. From now on, my videos will focus on more specific parts of the editing process, such as color grading. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss them. As always, if you enjoy this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have a suggestion on a topic I should make a video about, leave me a comment and I'll try to make a video about it. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next week.